Hey guys, thanks for joining us. This is episode two of our 2022 Montana Spring Bear Hunt. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you go back and watch last week's episode one. You're not gonna wanna miss that content. I'll put the link above. Um, that was a great video. It shows you how we got to where we're at on this beautiful blonde bear. Um, guys, this is an amazing bear. In 20 years of bear hunting, I've only seen three blonde bears that have been this color. Um, the first one was back in Wyoming many, many years ago. I think that was back in like 2004, 2005, somewhere in there. Um, so that was a while ago, but this is a gorgeous bear. We got some great action coming up for you, so stay tuned. Let's jump right in. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, so I just spotted the most beautiful blonde bear I've ever seen. Ridiculously gorgeous. I'm gonna get out the spotter really fast. We actually might have to go kill this bear. He is beautiful, like blonde, blonde, blonde beautiful. Check this out. Guys, look at this bear. Look how beautiful this bear is. Wow. It's been a really long time since I've seen a bear of that blonde. I might actually have to go kill this bear. Wow. Holy cow. I don't even know how I would go kill this bear. down the mountain I just hiked up. What a pretty bear. Oh, how, what a blessing. To see that cinnamon color bear this morning and then to see this guy is just unreal. Guys, I think we gotta kill this guy, huh? Oh, it doesn't get much prettier than that. It is 12 o'clock almost. It is not a giant bear, but it is a boar. Pretty certain. But the color is just like, wow. Spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. figure out a way to get a gun on this guy. There's no doubt about it. Okay, I'm gonna try not to get over there. It's gonna take all of two hours to get there. bear is insane. Absolutely gorgeous. He's right across, right over, oh come on focus on me, he's right over in that rock chute over there. So we've got to bail off this mountain 
we gotta go down to the bottom. We're gonna hit that ridge and come up. We gotta hustle. All right, let's do this. That's a beautiful bear. Awesome. All right, guys. We're set up. He's 415 yards ish if he comes over this ridge right here. He was headed up out the top. And my original plan was to get on the other side and get on the same side that he was and go up the ridge, but the wind is not good that direction. Um, the only way I can come at him is to go at him from either below or just shoot across the canyon. So right now I'm kind of set up to shoot across the canyon. Got like a 10 mile an hour wind cooking through here. And that guy that's over in that other camp is still shooting his gun. I don't know what the heck is going on. way down the chute so I think he's probably gonna come down into the timber so we might just set up on this side and just watch and wait and see what we can see see if he pops out again somewhere all right guys so I still haven't seen that bear that guy over in the camp started shooting like four times so really bad timing really bad luck that bear disappeared in a little cut and um, I haven't seen him come over the cut or go back up the saddle where he was grazing. So I'm gonna get down. There's a, an old trail below me and it switchbacks up this other side of this ridge with the wind doing what it's doing. I'm gonna get over there so I can glass back up into that cut. And the smart move is just to wait him out. I don't think he went anywhere. He either went down or up. If he went up, I won't see him again. If he went down, I should be able to find him again. So I don't think he went up. So crossed. It's been a long time since I've been excited to shoot a bear. And that is a really pretty bear. Alright, so he was right up in there. And he was headed up that chute when I started bailing off the mountain and then he came back down and he disappeared right behind this ridge right here. And he could have went up and over or he could have went down or he could still just be on the other side of that lip. I just can't see him, but the wind is blowing like this right now. That's why my original plan was to come up this ridge here and try to shoot him from right there up into that basin because he was headed up, but he came back down, so that plan changed and the wind is bad. So right now we're just gonna sit here. It's pretty open. I may end up moving over to this knob so that I can glass back in there a little bit better. But it's nasty. Not any down timber, burned out yuckiness. Just hoping he pops back out here soon. Alright guys, I'm 400 yards from where I last saw him. He was right over in that little saddle right there. And I'm very confident that he came down. So I think he's probably just resting or might be laying down in that timber somewhere. I don't think he came all the way down. I think he's just hanging out in there. And he'll probably come out here in a little bit, hopefully. Fingers crossed, we're gonna wait him out. That's the best plan. Guys, you are gonna believe this. I found him. I'm so
A few moments later. Well, that was interesting. I don't know what happened. I missed him three times. 250 yards. I don't know. I'll have to go back and watch the video. I missed him like clear as day. Mission well, we'll I didn't know for sure. When I got back on scope, he was like kind of like sitting up funny and I thought, that's not a good sign. When you hit a bear, they usually either fall or take off running. And he went up and he stood behind a tree, broadside, quartering away. And it was through some branches, but I had a pretty good shot and I shot. Thought I hit him, um, he took off. And I took one more shot at him as he was on the run. He came across the canyon here. And uh, he crossed right across down in the bottom in front of me and I took a shot when he was running and it was that was a hope and a prayer. There was no chance that one was gonna hit him, but you're not gonna believe what happened next. So I run up the trail and I'm just watching, I'm listening. I took my earplugs out because I wanna hear if I can hear him moaning, hear him crossing branches. And here he comes running at the trail, like broadside, 50 yards, walking through the brush and I canned him. And uh, you don't come across the blonde bear like that very often and we're a long ways away from home. So let's go recover that bear. I can't, oh man, I can't believe I missed him. I gotta watch the footage. I gotta see what happened. All right guys, let's go get our bear. This is absolutely crazy. I can't believe how this played out, but I'm a little bummed. He's not, he's not big at all in any way, shape or form. Um, and I knew that once he stepped out into that meadow, right when I shot, I, I had a moment of, well, maybe I should let him pass. And just such a pretty bear that I figured, well, let's give it a try and uh, see what we can come up with. So we are hiking up there. I put my rifle up here where I shot him from. But he rolled, I watched him roll down into the canyon and he never got up, so he's there. Like I said, it's pretty pretty nuts how this all played out. I literally shot him like 50 yards away. Probably, if I'd have just waited, I could have shot him with my bow, if I'd have had a bow. Although, I didn't hear the death moan. He is right in here, somewhere camera around. I'll show you where I shot him at. So guys, I was standing right here and I leaned my rifle right over this little hump on there and I kid you not, he was right there in that meadow and he just rolled down into that brush. So let's go see if we can get him.
guys, here he is, our 2020 bear, and man, I couldn't be happier. You know, it's not the biggest bear in the world, but it's a beautiful colored bear, a beautiful representative of a Montana bear. And even better yet, it's gonna taste delicious, and I can probably pack this bear out by myself, hopefully, fingers crossed. So, um, yeah, I couldn't be happier. What an experience. Um, I literally shot him probably 50 yards up the hill behind me and uh, he rolled down just below us here below this log and I'm just super happy with this bear. Uh, this is the second bear, only the second bear that I've seen this year and second bear that I saw today. Uh, I've passed on a lot bigger bears but I have not shot a bear this color um, since probably 2000 and five maybe 2004 somewhere in there 2003 maybe even um, my last blonde bear like this was down in Wyoming and I shot that one with my bow and so you don't get to get an opportunity to shoot a bear like this very often so pretty excited about that that we got to take this bear it's uh, about 2 30 now on Saturday May 14th and we're gonna take care of this guy get our tags all filled out get him boned out and we're about four miles from camp right now, and then our camp is about another six miles from the truck. So um, we've got to cross one really big drainage to get back to camp, and we've got to hike up a mountain. So we got a lot of work to do. Probably not going to get this. Probably not going to get this guy back um, to camp until well after dark. I'm guessing just it'll just take that long. So thankfully, I've got everything with me to do it. Uh, but yeah, what an exciting experience. I wish I could have got the shot on film uh, As you guys saw, I don't know what happened I, I'll have to go back and look at it a little bit closer and play it in slow-mo It looks like I shot maybe right under it or just right over the top of his back um, It is a nice hey, boar And so really excited to to get this bear this year and this is the first bear I've killed in a long time uh, passed a lot of big bears last year but been looking for a black one this is the opposite so meh can't beat a bear like this can you so just super stoked thanks for tuning in guys if you haven't already done so please hit that like and subscribe uh, it really helps out with my youtube channel and i just love sharing these experiences with you pretty stoked to find this bear in here this is a new spot i've never hunted in here ever before um, i have hunted from where i'm camped at but i've never been in this drainage it's actually pretty funny this morning when I spotted the other bear, um, he's down this drainage probably a mile and a half and then kind of up another one. And I was glassing this drainage this morning and I thought, man, if there's a bear in here, that is the spot I'm gonna find. It is just too perfect, it's too beautiful in there. It's got everything you could ask for. So I can tell you this, I'm coming back and uh, we're gonna find a big giant black bear in here next year for sure. Alright guys, we have got this dude loaded up. It's a heavy pack. We got the cape, we got all the meat, and I'm thankful it wasn't the biggest bear in the world or in the woods, because this would be impossible and it would be hell. So we got to go up that about 20 more yards to the trail. Thank you. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason. He crossed the canyon, ran up this side, and died a couple hundred yards, 150 yards below the whole trail. So we got him loaded up. Carcass is over there. We got him completely boned out. Got him caped out. And we are going to hit the trail. It's 4 o'clock, and we got 4 miles to go, 4 or 5 miles to go-ish, I'm guessing. So it's going to be a long hike. We'll see you along the way. Let's do this. Oof. Can't wait to get up to the trail. Oh my hiking sticks. Oh yeah. That is heavy.
up the main part of the drainage and uh, got up to the main trail and there's freaking dirt bike tracks in the middle of the trail. So I was not overly excited or happy about that. So just as I sat down to start recording about my displeasure with such a find, uh, I hear dirt bikes coming down the trail. So super nice guys. I politely informed them that these trails are closed. Um, they do actually open up in like two or three days. Uh, three days they open up. So they're still in here a little early and they were nice about it. We had a conversation. Uh, about not being on these trails until they open up, but such is the life when you're public land hunting and uh, I don't know that's probably about the fifth or sixth time in the last I don't know Eight nine years that I've encountered dirt bikers on the trail um, on closed trails and To be honest nothing chaps my more than hiking my butt all the way back in here and some dude comes ripping up on a dirt bike so uh, it is what it is thankfully they were nice guys I'll let the Forest Service know um, that they were back in here and I got their contact information so it is what it is but the good news is is it's all downhill got about a mile left before we get to camp and we're gonna make it back to camp before dark it's like six o'clock and that's gonna be awesome because we're gonna build a fire and we're just gonna have some awesome good old-fashioned backcountry fun in Montana so thanks for joining uh, again if you haven't done so please hit that like and subscribe button try to give you guys some cool hunting content as much as I can we're gonna go back to camp and make the fire get comfortable and have some fun and headed off the mountain with a really heavy pack. Woo! Now I gotta get through this jungle.
Thank you.